We can understand what timeline a person finds most engaging to explore. We all live in the present moment, of course, but our minds can focus more on a different time, perhaps. Introverted sensors focus more than other types on the past, while extroverted sensors are the most adept at living in the flow of the present. Introverted intuitive types focus more than other types on pinpointing the future, while extroverted intuitive types love making a creative game out of hypothesizing. In this video, I'll summarize my reading from the Neuroscience of Personality on the four perceiving cognitive functions. I felt that it would be easiest to build a holistic understanding of the functions through comparisons. For the first comparison, let's explore extroverted intuition, also known as NE, versus extroverted sensing, also known as SE. For starters, NE is actually very energy intensive for the brain, while SE on the other hand is contrastingly very energy efficient. Extroverted intuition, NE, creates a Christmas tree brain pattern, which reflects that the neocortex is active all over, but out of sync. NE is great to identify relationships and patterns across situations. NE is a creative engine and can be induced with word games and what if questions. NE types might be people with quote unquote, some of the shortest attention spans. The cost of that free flowing creativity is a propensity to get off task are pursued contradictions that hinder their goals. Any DOMs can actually get a creative high with vast responses that come to mind when exploring ideas, but may also experience a sort of creative hangover afterwards. On the other hand, extroverted sensing creates a tennis hot brain pattern that on EEG looks like an all black or nearly black screen. This pattern is similar to a brain that is awake but unconscious and the brain as a whole looks inactive. However, this SE brain pattern is very effective in conserving energy and maintaining momentum to respond quickly to anything that arises. It is called a tennis hop as tennis players hop on their feet to stay ready to respond. It reminds me of the people you see jogging at red lights. That jogging allows them to not have to restart running when the light turns green. All regions of the neocortex are at a low amplitude, shifting frequencies constantly and out of sync for this SE brain pattern. All types experience a tennis hop brain pattern when engaging in tactile action games. In the book, the game Mario Kart was a perfect example in which this pattern allows the brain to conserve resources while playing to maximize flexibility, take advantage of opportunities, and avoid obstacles. SE types tend to be more engaged when moving, even showing higher brain activity during a stretching break rather than sedentary work. As a result, SE types are the most likely to be frequently bored. They are primed for action instead. Interestingly, SE types easily go into the zone in a crisis situation and can quickly integrate sensory information to adaptively respond. All right, now let's compare introverted sensing, also known as SI, to SE. Introverted sensing dominants show high brain activity revolving around their background training and work expertise. SI DOMs are stimulated by activities that correspond to their specific experiences and previous training. They get quote unquote in the zone when reviewing past events and are the best at recalling specific information and personal experiences with little context, especially kinship data, like a person's birthday. Instead of frequent boredom like a SE type, SI types can actually remain focused with skill on a single activity they've practiced. They enjoy rote memorization, repetition, and in-depth reviews of daily events, which are all ways that build new neural pathways in their brain. SI types thrive with step-by-step -step roadmaps, helpful guidance, and skillful role models, while SE types prefer the freedom to test and learn through trial and error. Next, let's compare introverted intuition with extroverted intuition. Introverted intuition, also known as NI, tends to be serious, while extroverted intuition tends to be playful. 
If you're laughing, you're likely engaging in extroverted intuition. NI does best without external stimuli, while NE appreciates a variety of sensory inputs for stimulation. NI hones in on a target with tunnel vision, while NE is exploratory and doesn't mind getting off track. Lastly, let's compare NI versus SI. Introverted intuition indulges in an unfamiliar future, while introverted sensing leans into the familiar past. NI DOMs tap into a Zen state of mind while tackling a novel problem, and SI DOMs get into an expert flow state, recalling memories. NI DOMs are spectacular generalists, while SI DOMs are great specialists. Ooh, also, here's a quick summary of how each dominant perceiving type gets into the flow state. NI DOMs get into the flow when imagining the future. NE DOMs get into the flow when exploring patterns across contexts. SI DOMs get into a flow state when reviewing or recalling the past. And SE DOMs get into a flow state in crisis situations. Alright, I hope this helped you understand the perceiving functions a little bit better. If you have any questions, comment them down below. Do you find these claims that the neuroscience of personality makes to be relevant to you, to be true to you? Um, please let me know down below. And if you want to see a video like this on the judging functions, go ahead and give this video a like. I'll catch you next time and please take care. Thank you so much for being here.